Hi friends and followers, welcome again to my channel. This is Angel Beck. I'm a personal trainer and a group fitness instructor here in USA. So today before we discuss um, fitness talk, um, don't forget to hit subscribe. Don't forget to follow me and also with my other social medias such as Instagram, which is Angel Mayan, and also my TikTok and um, Facebook and Twitter, it's Coach Angel Beck. So anyway, guys, um, the discussion here is not question about us. Uh, it's not a question from my followers, subscribers, or clients. It's typically what my clients keep telling me and um, sharing their experience towards me with other instructors. Okay. So guys, um, I have a client. It's not just one or two. I mean, different. Um, with different instructors I'm not saying this is one instructor per se or you know but they're saying that it's like they notice when they exercise this some instructor they it, they they push them so hard and is it like um, sometimes they push them too much and they some are they want uh, the instructor wants them to do like what the instructor is doing exact Okay, pushing some pushing a client is okay. Like, of course, that's to motivate a client to make them work hard, you, you know, or harder. But keep in mind also, not everybody's the same, and not all clients have the same fitness level. Okay, you don't know also what's the client's um, health issues and what's the client. Um, want sometimes yeah as a trainer or an instructor or a group instructor we want them what we want what's the best for them and we see they can do more but as what they as what we see in them and as what they're doing it seems it's not enough okay but keep in mind it's the client's decision they pay you they pay they pay the instructor but that doesn't mean that we can control them or push them to to a certain point that based on what we want in the end it's based on what they can or sometimes what they want to do sometimes we just have to balance situation it's okay to push them it's okay to to um, you know encourage them more but maybe especially in um, in a groups group set up group setting classes it's different from personal training personal training one-on-one -on -one, the way we approach client is different and also in group setting it's different I'm a personal trainer and a group instructor too so I know the difference and um, for example in, in PT um, yeah you can you can you I push my client but um, I can I can talk to them I, I tell them what they're doing what is the mistake or the, the wrong stuff they're doing and correct them but in a nice way okay if I see them they're not in the mood because you will notice that if they're not in the mood you will just try to take it slow okay um, you just have to um, check or cycle we call it cycle the client if depends on what's the reason why they're experienced that kind of uh, feeling emotionally mentally who knows or they just tired from work or maybe family problem so you don't have to ask about the family problem I'm just saying you just have to watch them and cycle them if you know you know them you will know the client especially if you've been with them for a long time now um, now if I see my client they're not in the mood I'll just take slow the, the, the workout I'll, I'll just talk to them you know um, I'll try to put their mind away from the workout and at least make them at ease make them feel better okay so what whereas the group settings if you see somebody's doing wrong don't call out their name don't say you know don't mention their name don't um, I mean, it's okay to go to them and you know correct the posture like that, but not all the time because sometimes some clients they don't like that. Some also they don't like to be center of attraction. 
um, like calling out their name they don't like that some some they likes I mean you know but make it make it uh, in majority you know make it general like instead of correcting one person correct everybody like hey guys this is the proper squad you know the, this 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 instead of hey Anna or here this is this is the squad don't do that you know that's kind of hurtful also with them in the end guys you we as an instructor and a trainer we need also to be um, cautious the way we talk to client and um, the way we correct them um, not everybody likes that not all clients are the same as what I've said a while ago and also um, you know I always tell my client do what you think you can do you know yourself more than the trainer we are an instructor we are professional instructors we're licensed to to teach we're certified to teach but there's a limitation in that in the end you know yourself more than me I'm a trainer that doesn't mean I know you totally and I don't really know you what you can at this moment because um, sometimes especially in a group settings you, you don't know everybody yeah PT yeah okay you you will know the time especially you've been with a person for a long time but PT you don't know everybody suddenly somebody will be just there you know uh, once a week or twice a week and you don't know their medical issue that's what I said I feel always reminding them you know yourself more than the trainer you do what you can do what's best for you if I say push hard lower than if you think you cannot do it don't okay I believe that you know you need to balance balance the situation um, the the reward versus the risk okay so um, yeah um, the reward of doing a certain workout yeah there is but the risk is higher for example if you have a medical issue or knee problem the risk is higher so then there's no reward if you get hurt right so in the end you know yourself better guys now if your trainer or I mean if your instructor group instructor tells you to do this to do that you don't have to you know you can just modify um, easier better way you may ask the instructor what can I modify what's the modification of this now if you're embarrassed to do that just modify yourself modify it you know I mean that I don't know what I don't know with the other instructor in my case if I see a client modify that's fine with me it doesn't bother me because in, in because that's what she wants that's how that's what makes you comfortable okay but I know this is what my I, my other clients say you're different angel because you let us modify give us modification you you encourage us in a good way others don't others if they see modify they get mad they don't like it they don't appreciate if we change the step or if we you know if you don't do hard or we don't push I understand some some instructors they want what's best for you and they want result but you know for me again not everybody like not all clients like to be pushed like that you know I, I know my clients I even if the how many weeks of being with them only or I will know them if they like to be pushed or not so I know what to do you know to balance the situation but in the end guys for me do what's best for you guys you know um, you know yourself more than the trainer you know yourself more than the instructor if you cannot do it don't okay so important is reward versus risk okay and also um, you know uh, if, if, if you think that it's healthier for you to approach the instructor to, to say something and hey I cannot do this because this that's fine okay we it's, it's fine how many times my client came to me and angel can I modify angel can you take slow the music um, it's too fast I cannot catch up I mean yeah totally that's fine yeah sure you know I'll talk to them nicely and I promise I don't get offended you know because that's a client you take care of them 
okay if you want them to come back you need to feel make them feel that they're welcome in the class that everybody's welcome no matter what the the no matter the fitness level is okay so anyway guys so thank you for listening and um, I know this is one of the issues that is going on and um, some of my clients are concerns and keep telling me compare comparing me to other trainers and instructors which is um, everybody's different every instructor is different too um, they have their own way of training so me I train different I, I train I, I give them harder hard workout but I balance it the it depends on the client okay but anyway guys thank you for listening don't forget to subscribe have a great day god bless